So, September 2017. And right now it's September 2023. Six years of my life. Just finished Katham. What does a person do after completing a six year long duty? This is uncertainty that is just, you know, just filling up in the air. I can, you can feel it like the last, uh, the last month of internship, the last week, the last day, and it's just, uh, it's just uh, it's, <laughs> the drone music is just increasing. The uncertainty is high. Uh, not the first time that I've experienced this. I'm sure that everyone, each and every one of us, has experienced this. A similar situation during your 12th standard, like after 12th, what do you do? Even though there are a lot of options available, we Indians, we just, uh, we just gravitate towards doctor, engineer. And me having this, this online presence, especially in the medical community, uh, all these neat aspirants, they ask me, what should I do after, uh, after my 12th? My parents are telling me that uh, I should take, uh, I should become a doctor, I should take MBBS, but I don't know, I see your reels. <laughs> I have seen your reels and uh, they've shown me the other side of MBBS that it's not as glorified as it may seem. These students ask me, you know, I'm not really sure, should I take it, should I not take it? And for some reason, my first response to them was like, if you're unsure or if you have a certain uncertainty that is looming inside your head, why not just take a year off? I was just telling them to take a year off and just see what's up, right? Just become bored, extremely bored. And if for some reason, this extreme boredom is the birthplace of creativity. It is the birthplace of your true self. When you have extreme boredom, like we had during COVID, we naturally gravitate towards something. And that something is usually that aligns with our interest. Personally, during COVID, I did like a 180 degree flip <laughs> uh, on my character. I went. I went rogue. People always say, you used to be someone else and after that you became like this. I used to be regarded as like the, like a person who studies, who's really good in academics. And after COVID here I am uh, essentially a disappointment <laughs> to my teachers and uh, to my parents. I'm just kidding. The thing is, boredom is the birthplace of, of creativity. Like something will happen. I'm sure something will happen. Something happened to me personally. And from my life experience, I gave that advice which is just, you know, just take a, take a year off. It's easy to say, it's extremely easy to say, but parents, when they're here, I'm sure that they'll be like, that's the last thing your parents want to hear. Oh, you're not doing anything with your life? Oh, wow, go ahead. No, no one says that. And for good reasons, they do not say that. And from my individualistic point of view, I don't, I don't think that is that bad. It's, it's a good starting point to have. But when these students came to ask me for advice, that is the natural thing I wanted to say. Like, you're unsure, fine. Find out. Give yourself freedom to find out. So, that was my advice. Now, here I am in the same scenario, essentially, uh, after six years of, <laughs> of 12th standard, six years of MBAs, here I am. Right? And the way I see it right now, because, you know, I have this newfound experience, there are two paths. Right? There are two paths in front of me. Right? This is one path, which is a which is a highway. Like it's just a like a national highway. There are like four lanes on each side. In the, the horizon, you can see the horizon, and uh, just like in highways, there are these small billboards on the top, which which give you the destination. It's like uh, neat PG one year, uh, post graduation uh, three years, super specialty uh, three years, and and, uh, and it's like that. So if you take this road, that is the destination that you're gonna arrive. It's a straight path. There are lots of <laughs> there are lots of cars, trucks, everything's going. It's like uh, it's an engaged road. Like at least that's what it seems like. Everyone seems to be taking it. There's a lot of traffic in that road. That's that's one. That's one path. And then there's this other path, and it's it's a bit different from the highway. Rather, it's it's not even a road. It's it's just a <laughs> just a path. Like there's barely a path. It's like it's not completely like jungle, but you can you know that someone has gone through that. Like like four people. 
<laughs> like five people have gone through that portal. I mean that path, right? And the thing is, it's not like it's not it's not like you can see a lot there, as opposed to the highway. We can you can see to the horizon here. You can just see like a like four steps forward, barely. That's that's all you can see. And there are no signs. There are no boards. There's nothing. It's just into the wilderness. Uh, that's what I feel uh, is the other way. So here I am in this fork. Two pathways lay in front of me, and uh, and you know, what do I do? What does one do in this in this scenario, right? And I have been thinking about this for the last, let's say, three months, two months, one month, and you know, it's only fair if I take my own advice that I've given to all these kids, right? Come on, man. I should, I I talk the talk. I should walk the walk. So, so the natural conclusion that I have come up to after a lot of thought is is to take the road less traveled, right? Is is to is to go on an adventure because that just makes the most amount of sense to me at this point of time. I personally have taken the highway for the last six years of my life, and during these last six years, what I have focused uh, was on the destination, right? This is the destination I have to arrive, and this is the fastest route to that destination and reaching that destination is everything and that is the and all be all that is quote unquote success in, in my life but then you realize that it's not about the destination right it's number it's not this 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 place that you have to get that's not that's not what it is rather it is the journey the journey is is everything the destination is just one personage everything else the 99 percentage is the journey. So if you're going on a journey thinking that the destination is everything, you know, it's absolutely natural you're gonna be disappointed. The journey in and of itself is the destination. The fact that you can live through the journey, that, that is the destination. That is what we have to, we have to look forward. So for the foreseeable future, <laughs> it is safe to say that uh, we'll be going on and adventure.